Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create a scene like this using the awesome preset system in True Terrain 5 to create something like this in a couple of minutes by just a few clicks. There is one or two small tricks or things you need to take care um, I'm going to show you. Okay, let's start. So we're going to create a terrain and we're going to use the first preset and from the ones already in here we're going to take Mount Smile. So just okay and we've got our terrain in. So I like to bring it up to the lowest point so everything sits on the coordinate system and because we're using quite heavy scattering we're going to decrease the size to like 400. Now we're going to find a nice view, uh, something like so, something like this should work okay. So, okay, and the next thing we're going to do is add water. So add water and we're going to take the ocean type, just click OK and increase the height so you can actually see it and looks good. Maybe we should change this perspective a little bit like this. like so good then we can use the proxy resolution for the beginning so it doesn't gets too heavy at this moment and the terrain we're going to do a thousand we can increase that later but that gives us enough geometry to actually see something. Now let's go to scatter, create the scatter system and we've got multi-layer presets here and we're going with the redwood over there. Progress coming in, we already have the scattering in there. So with the mask one of the first things we need to do is assign an attribute mask and use the mask preset above waterline. There we go. And then we can also go with a camera call because there's a lot of geometry and of our terrain where the scatter is now placed, which we don't really need. So let's take a camera call mask, no preset, just bring it in and maybe do a padding of one so that some trees can look into the viewport and last but not least shader create a material and we've got presets here as well as you can see I've made my own which we're not going to use because you don't have that but we're going to take um, let's go with grass hills Say OK and progress again. It's being imported, and now let's do our first look on the render view. And it already looks quite nice, so we can play with the light a little bit to give it even more depth, something like this. And so let's render this and see what happens. This is actually fine. However, my point is something else. So first of all, our water is not very high definition and we've got too many trees in there which is different to what we can see. 
So let's go to slot two. And you might wonder if we're going back to the scatter. Well, scatter mount one, viewport one, why, why I'm not seeing everything? Because that is assigned to the active group. Let's double click here. And if we go to the pines, we can see that the viewport amount is actually 0.1. Uh, 0 .1. So to see how many trees are actually being scattered, we need to put this amount in here to one and we can play with the seed and bring the trees where we want them. I think we should bring in even 0.1 less trees on the cliff something like this and we do the same thing over here with maple I want to see everything something like this could be nice although it looks like it's in the water so let's change that Could be nice. Let's take a look. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So you can get, go back to root and can play with the seed there, and then all the trees within the group will be put on different. That's actually quite nice. Let's take this one. So that's the great thing with true terrain and the seed system is that you can get surprised on what very nice results you are getting. Now let's address the water. Let's deactivate that for the moment. Let's go back to water and use just a zero at the end. And that looks like this, a little bit too turbulent for my taste. So what we're going to do is go to surface, waves, take another of the presets and I'm going for calm. Click that and when it's picked up, oops, we, no, over here, we're going to apply it. We should see the difference immediately. There we go. And then foam, we're going to increase the shore foam like this. So we have some foam over here and we can play with the color as well. So let's go to volume, another preset. Let's go with dark blue. As soon as the window picks it up, we're going to apply it. go and we can even make it bluer by increasing the absorption and we can also give it a little bit of dispersion like so that's very nice okay and actually I know this is surprising for a Bergelmere follow-along video we are at the end of this video because very importantly, you need to activate the visibility again because otherwise the scatter system would not be visible. And let's give this a render. And there we go. All this is done with presets, nothing else for you to do with some fine tuning and um, we can address this in a later video. But this time I really wanted to show you how quickly utilizing um, the presets already built in, you can create things like this. Hope you like it and thanks for watching. Bye.